In the days of Noah, man corrupted his way upon the land, and as a result, a flood came to destroy all of humankind, but not just humankind, all creations. We see in the very first portion, portion of Bereshit, that God gives man dominion over all the creations. He's put in the garden to look after it, to watch over it and guard it. So, when man becomes corrupted, well, being the leader and the guardian of all of the other creations, they too become corrupted. And so they too suffered on behalf of man's flaws. However, we see in Leviticus that God says, I will remove all wild beasts from the land. Meaning that God willing, in the future, we are supposed to come to a higher level of consciousness and being that we are the guardians of all of creations. They too will come to a higher level of consciousness to the point that it says that the wolf will lie with the lamb and all the other wonderful prophecies we see, revealing that the harmony and peace will not just be with humankind but for all creations.